Well, it is time to rank my least favorite ultimate figures in my collection. And we're going to rank them from my favorite to my least favorite? Yeah, that sounds right, because they're my least favorite. So, without further ado, what are the top five least favorite ultimate figures in my collection? But before we get into my least favorite, here's some other ultimates that did not make it in to the bottom five. We got Batista, Bobby Lashley, DX Triple H, blurry as can be, there he is, Andre, we got one warrior, we got two warriors, we got three warriors. And there's a whole bunch more in this collection, but we're here for the least favorite ultimate figures in my collection. Let's get into it. And thanks to AHW Live for asking, what are your five least favorites? Let's get into it. Number five is Series 9, Ric Flair. So again, um, this is my favorite of the least favorite. Um, it, it, it's so hard to rank these ultimate figures because the majority of them are pretty dang good. Um, but for me, um, the Ric Flair just, I, I scanned the room, I looked at every single ultimate I had, and I settled on these five. And then in reviewing the five that I had, I went, this one is right on the edge of not making it. So for that reason alone, he comes in at number Five, number five. What's number four? It is the Ruthless Aggression Eddie Guerrero. And I love the face scan. I love the belt. I love the outfit, all that. But I think like most people, um, he's just way too jacked. Um, his upper torso is just massive. Um, I know they did a... a what, what's it called when they, they continue to run it, but they change the color of the boots. So I got the green boots, and I think his were more like an orangish brown and, and reality. So it's like, I got like a, I don't know, a faulty one. I don't know. Um, and maybe I guess looking at the head scan, it's probably not the best. But it's not the worst ultimate, but it is in the top five least favorite. It is number four. Number three is series 10 John Cena and this one for a couple reasons one uh, I don't like the screaming head scan um, I don't really think that looks like him in my opinion and also um, it's just all black I wish I could have uh, picked up that series 5 ultimate where he's wearing the orange where he came back at the Royal Rumble that one I want to add to my collection that would be probably one of my top favorite that would probably bump out something and and move uh that john cena into the top five but for this one uh just too many things that i do not enjoy about it so it comes in at number three we got number five number four number three what's number two number two my second to or my yeah my second to the least favorite uh is randy orton and this is series 18 randy orton um, it's just plain. A lot of Randy Orton figures to me are, are super plain. I liked them more, and maybe this is just my bias from when I was watching him wrestle on a consistent basis. I enjoyed him with more hair in his younger days. Um, now it's just like every single figure looks exactly the same to me. Um, they're all this super thin, the, the black tat, I mean, there's just no real detail to the tattoos with them being like black like that. And again, I might be biased because I have colored tattoos, but to me, it's just a plain looking figure. And for that reason, he comes in at number two. So I think you can guess it what my least favorite ultimate is. It is the gobbledy gooker. Here he is. Um, Cool concept, um, cool that they made this, but one, he's not a wrestler, two, 
it only uh, appeals to a small, tiny demographic. Um, it's just so weird. Um, I, I don't know what other people's thoughts on this whole set were. Um, I loved The Undertaker. I was looking at that one, and I'm like, is that in the bottom five? I'm like, no, that one's awesome. This one, I think they nailed it. I think it looks like the gobbledygooker, but it's just so weird. It's just the weirdest, I think probably the weirdest figure I have in my collection. Uh, but there you go, HW. Um, the top five least favorite fi uh, Ultimates in my collection. We got Ric Flair at five, Eddie Guerrero at four, John Cena at three, Randy Orton at two, and the gobbledygooker is my least favorite ultimate figure in my collection. What do you guys think of that list? Do you like it? Is there something you would change? Would you switch something around? Let me know in the comments. Uh, you did get a sneak peek at some other ultimates that I have. Uh, let me know your thoughts on those and whether or not they should have been in the bottom five. And let me know if there's any ultimates that I don't have in my collection, which I know there are, uh, that you think, man, you should pick those up and add them to your collection. Leave that stuff in the comments. And let me know if there's anything else or anybody else that you want me to rank. And if I haven't ranked them, I will make a video on it. And with that said, hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Wrestling Rewind figure ranking guide. Just ranked my five least favorite ultimate figures in my collection. And I'm out.